dreaming of working on a cruise ship, but you are worried you don't have the experience. Well, you are in the right place. Imagine traveling the world, meeting new people and getting paid for it, all without needing years of experience in the industry. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it's not. Stick around because by the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can land your dream job on cruise ships with zero experience. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Wandi Lesambane, and for the past decade since I began my international career, I've traveled in all seven continents in nearly 100 countries, all whilst working on cruise ships. Now, today I'm going to share my blueprint for breaking into the cruise ship industry, even if you have no prior experience. Now, many aspiring seafarers feel discouraged because they think that the jobs that are available on cruise ships are only for people that have extensive maritime or hospitality backgrounds. Now, the truth is, whilst experience can be beneficial, there are plenty of opportunities that are available for beginners. Now, cruise ships, guys, are basically huge, massive cities that are floating at sea. Now, you can imagine that almost any job that you can think of that's available on land, you can probably find on cruise ships or a version of that. Now, the purpose of today's video come from a question from one of you guys, from Ubuisile Dube. And basically, I'll put it on the screen. The email reads, hello, my brother. I hope this email finds you well. I am an accounting teacher by profession, but I want to work uh, on a cruise. I am ready for any job in the cruise. I took your email address from TikTok. I do not have any prior experience on cruise ship jobs, but I'm willing to learn. Can you please advise me on how to apply for the jobs? I am from Swaziland and I will be happy if I get your assistance. I will patiently wait for your response. Be blessed. Now, the reason why I decided, as I said, to make this video was because of this question. But then, thank you, Siswami, for allowing me to use your email as part of this um, video creation. Because not only when I answer this question is it going to help you, but I know that it's going to help even more people. And before we get into it, I've noticed that we have a community from all around the world in many countries. And I'd like you guys to mention in the comments, where are you watching from? Now, the reason I'm doing that is so that I can see where I'm getting my fans from because there's a question that I've been asked on YouTube. I think it's someone from Kenya. And because I do not have more information in other countries, I share things based on South Africa, where I'm from, but I know that the information I share can benefit anyone from any country. So with, say, with doing that, I can see where you guys are from if you do participate and I can answer that question on YouTube and I can look into providing you more tailored value depending on which country you're from. So this also, guys, will help other people. And like I said, the Today's question is basically to help even more people. So please do me a favor, guys. Engage in the comments. Tell me what are your challenges on cruise ships. Tell me what are you currently facing now because I get a lot of people that inbox me on my DMs, but mostly I cannot keep up with these messages. I encourage you guys to use YouTube because this is where I can manage most comments and I can provide more value to you. Now, back to the video. First of all, I would like us to talk about the types of entry level positions that are available on cruise ships because these will be jobs such as housekeeping, galley steward, deckhand, and customer service in most cases. And often these roles, you know, they are open to start to people with little or no experience at all. Now, I'd like you guys to really think about this because as I'm sharing this with you, this is not the only positions that can be available. I want you to basically take what I'm sharing with you from my experience and then build on that. 
do your research, do your homework, because guess what? You will find that there are even more jobs that you can find with your you know, um, background and uh, qualifications as well as experience. Like for you, Sis Buisile, um, I know that it's not only the jobs that you were recommending that you're looking into, but as many others, and you will find out shortly. Now, let's get into, you know, um, housekeeping and give you a little bit of, you know, explanation in that. Housekeeping jobs or positions um, involve cleaning and maintaining of guest cabins and public areas. And there are many positions available within just housekeeping jobs. Now, the next one is galley steward. Now, this role includes assisting in the kitchen with food preparation as well as cleanliness. And this, like I said, there are different multiple positions that you can find within just the kitchen department. Now, the next one will be the deckhand. The deckhand is one of the most important, you know, people on the cruise. And most people do not see or overlook, you know, this position. But this basically performs various duties on the cruise ship exterior, you know, such as maintenance, you know, on safety decks. They help out when the ship is docking and when the ship, you know, is sailing away from a port. The next one will be customer service. Now, these positions will include working at guest services desk, helping passengers with their needs and they can vary depending on the size of the ship and the company that you will be working for. Now, one thing guys that I really want to, you know, um, tip you on here is to highlight transferable skills. What do I mean? Sometimes we can call this soft skills, but even if you do not have experience, you likely to have transferable skills or soft skills that are highly valued on the cruise ship. Let me give you an example. Now, in customer service, if you've worked in either retail or hospitality or any customer facing role, guess what? You already have valuable customer service skills. And this is why it's important to highlight these things, put it in your CV. And when you get to the interview, talk about these transferable skills because at the beginning, that is what's going to unlock the gates of getting into cruise ships or one of the things. Now, the next one will be teamwork. Now, most cruise ship jobs, guys, require, you know, working closely with others. As I've mentioned before, you will be working with people from multiple backgrounds and we can differ in the way that we think, in the way that we do things, in the way that we've been brought up to believe um, certain things. But... When we come on a cruise ship, guess what? Once you enter that ship, you are part of a team. And this is why I'm highlighting that cruise ships value, you know, teamwork. Because like I said, it's at the end of the day, that is what the business is all about. It's about getting the goal done. So being part of a team means that you are part of that goal of the company. You are part of that goal of your department. You are part of that goal of your team. You know, because at the end of the day, like I said, that is why you are being hired. Now, the next thing that I would like to highlight that can help you as a beginner, even if you do not have experience, is training and certification. Now, training and certification, although if you've seen my beginner's guide, seven step process, I do not, you know, um, recommend much that people start doing things like STCWs, although it can be beneficial. And the only reason is because I know that to get into a cruise ship, guys, first, you need to save up quite a substantial amount of money. And I've actually went through the requirements and how much you need based on what I have done. And I'm going to link it up there so you can check it out. So although that is valuable, I do not recommend that people, you know, start with this, like I said, because it does cost a lot of money. If you follow the steps that I share with you guys, trust me, it will just make the process less overwhelming and more manageable for you to navigate this journey to landing your job on cruise ships. Now, there are specific training courses and certifications that can boost your chances of getting hired. Now, some of them are, of course, as we have said, STCWs. Now, most cruise lines, you know, require these standards of training 
certification and watch kick and watch keeping or as i've said stcw certification which covers basic safety training for any seafarer that is working on a passenger vessel on or, um, at, at, at sea that is just a reg that is just a regulation so if you have the certificates prior or let's say you have the money nothing stops you remember guys here's one thing that i've also picked up there are people that think and look and listen to what i say and think that okay that is how it's done and i've seen other people challenging the things that i share this is what i'd like you guys to uh, to know this channel was created for one purpose and that purpose was to help people to learn their dream jobs by sharing my experiences and the way that i see uh, things and the way that i've done things now does that mean that everything that i share on this channel is the only way certainly no does it mean that there are no other ways that you can go about it no as you will see in upcoming videos that i would post guys you will be shocked and surprised that you do not have to go through half of the things that i went through to you know and um, begin my journey on cruise ships let me perhaps share a little story with you guys my journey really started around when i was 10 years old now that was back around in 2000 2001 and that was because of a direct response of a situation and a circumstance that i was going through being born into poverty and you know the circumstances of my environment now believe it or not at that time as young as i was i saw that unless i take responsibility for my own life unless i go out there and make things happen there is no ways that I can change my reality or manifest the desires of my outcomes. And that's the journey that I've been on since then. Now, coming on cruise ships is something that began later on in 2006. And I've shared this, you know, story. I won't go into it now. But the reason I'm telling you uh, this, guys, is because I had to go through adversity. I had to, you know, um, acquire um, qualifications. I had to do you know, I'm um, in service trainings. I went to the States, you know, for a cultural exchange program. And like I've said, guys, you do not even need a qualification to start working in this industry. And that is what, or that is the message that I'm trying to um, spread to bring awareness to you guys about cruise ship jobs uh, um, in terms of how simple it can be. Now, the process is not simple at all, but to get in once you understand the process which is what we're covering in these videos that i've been sharing with you guys it's really simple and like i said you can land your dream job with no prior experience no need for any um qualifications for any metric for anything like that if you have what they need which is the experience and there are many ways you can acquire this experience that they need like i've said one of them to, um, today's video is even if you do not have direct experience in cruise ships you can still get a job by you know sharing you know with them these transferable skills or these soft skills that you possess now the next you know um training that they do value on cruise ships is first aid and cpr Having these certifications shows that you prepared for emergencies. Again, they will cover this in the STCW courses once you get to that, or if you prepare to, if you prefer to do that, you know beforehand. There's nothing wrong. You can decide what you want to do. Now, the next one will be hospitality courses. Now, something basic, basic you, like. Um, a certification in customer service you know can also be beneficial like i said you don't have to spend four years like i did and go to varsity some even if it's a short course that you do for three months or six months it can still be beneficial although it's not a necessity please understand and get this but it can be a benefit now one of the last tips that i would like to give you um for this video is creating a standout application now a well-crafted um application can make all the difference now i've actually made a video covering some basic tips you know on cv making 
and I'm going to leave that um, up there also. I've also been getting a lot of people, guys, that have been asking me to help them, you know, with writing the CVs. Guess what? Here's the good news. I've created a template that is ATS friendly. That maybe um, can simplify the whole process um, for you, which is simply a copy and paste, you know, or which you can uh, download the template and simply put in your information. But at the moment, I'm not sure um, as to how I'm going to proceed with this in order to give out to people and help them to create this tailored application. Now, I'd really love your participation here and please tell me if you know of a way that we can probably do it that would be easier for me and for other people because my biggest challenge, guys, honestly, is time because I'm working a full-time job, number one. I have a family that I'm committed to. I've got other goals or other things that I'm doing on the side. So my time is really, really, really limited and precious and valuable. Like I value your time for being here. So please let me know if you think there's a way we can do this. I'm thinking maybe we can probably host a group session. Let's say a live session where, first of all, I'm going to give you access to this uh, draft CV. And then we're going to go into how you can write that perfect CV or you can do it whilst we're doing the live video or you can re uh, watch the replay of the video and then follow exactly what it is that I will be sharing there to make sure that you create a winning CV tailored to the position that you will be applying for. Now, another tip with that is to write a compelling letter. Although I do not recommend this or I do not see it necessary in my position where I'm at, but I do recommend it, especially if you have zero experience because this will explain your passion, first of all, for working on a cruise ship and how your skills make you a great fit to the position that you are applying for. And of course, do include references um, sometimes upon request or if you want you can put it on the CV from past employers who can vouch for your work ethic as well as adaptability and actually one more thing that I really want to throw in here it's networking and applying you know now sometimes it's true to a certain point it's about who you know and let me explain um, what I mean because I don't want you getting different you know um, ideas about what I mean with this. Now, connect with current or former cruise ship, you know, employees through social media groups and forums. Now, there's someone, I think I saw a comment who asked me if I have a WhatsApp group. No, I don't. And I've been thinking about this, either maybe to have a WhatsApp group or a Facebook group that we can all gather and help each other. Remember guys, I'm only sharing what I know and what has worked for me. Nothing stops from you. And I do encourage you guys to help other people out. If you see a comment that you think you know something about, please help out. By all means, this is not my channel. This is our community. And I created this, you know, channel to bring together aspiring cruise ship employees and current cruise ship employees that are going through challenges. As, you, as you've seen, if you have already not I've started a challenge, you know, to develop an unstoppable mindset in how to win or thrive on cruise ships. And I'm also going to link that video up there. You can check it out and maybe you can even take that challenge with me, but you will know when you watch the video what it's all about. Now guys, let's wrap up today's conversation. We have already said a lot for today. And I hope that Siswami Buisile, first of all, you, um, your question was answered and answering your question i believe that like i said it will help out even more people because that's the purpose of this channel and please do give me feedback and let me know in the comment section if you did find value if you still require additional value also let me know feel free i'm open to assisting with that now landing a dream job on cruise ship guys without prior experience is entirely possible as i've explained in the video on condition that you have the right approach now use these tips that i have you know highlighted today 
to create whatever best way possible to navigate and channel your journey towards into making it a success. And focus, guys, on entry-level positions, especially if you are at the beginning. Because some people I know, they've got degrees in other things, they've got experience, but they want certain jobs which closely match, you know, what they have. But if you've never worked on a cruise ship before, and let's say you want to come as an engineer, chances are less that maybe they can they can take you, depending on which company. But if you focus on entry-level positions, just to be inside as an example, there's always great opportunities to, you know, transfer to other departments or cross-train or things like that. Um, to you know finally get to a destination it's not always about starting where you want it's about i believe starting small and then building upon that and highlight like i said your transferable skills get the necessary training if you can and craft a standard application now if you did find this video helpful guys please give it a thumbs up also share it with someone that you think might get even more value like i've said this helps um, with the motivation so I can bring you fresh content and this helps out with the YouTube algorithm so we can get this video to even more people so that we can help them too in the journeys now don't also forget to hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell icon so you do not miss any new video that I post and like that we can keep the momentum going now it has been a pleasure hosting and presenting this video to you today like always stay safe be good this is Wandile Samba and signing off until the next one goodbye my friend